It's Halloween. And we pride ourselves on doing the best but shittest Halloween costumes out there. Three years ago, we went as characters from GTA. Two years ago, Cal went as John Cena and I went as Eggy. It is the Don Broco Halloween experience. Already regretting it. Now let's do a comparison, right? Hey man, I ain't seen you around here before. Name's Rob. I'm going around these parts. So you think you're good with the ball, huh? Come over here, let me show you how to shoot a few hoops. This way. Alright, so, if you want to make the hoops here in New York, there's a few things you gotta do. Let's test out real quick. Watch my lead, boy. First, you gotta get your thumbs like this. Yeah, that's cool. Now you gotta shoot and aim for the basket, like this. Oh, I never lose. Let's see how you do. I not quite, not quite, but you get it. Try again. I remember, try a bit harder. Remember, you can get hints at the pause menu at any time. Just press start, bitch. Almost, try again. Almost, try again. Oh, my dog. I knew you had it in you. I always knew it from the moment I first saw you. Welcome to New York, boy. You want to be on my team? All right, cool. Well, let's do this. We'll spend some time in the big old city. How you like that? Let's see the Oh, that is that's New York. Taxi! <laughs> Good morning, Matthew. Good morning. How are you doing? Mm. I'm alright, bro. Good. What are we doing today? I don't know, mate. I'm off. I'm free. What are we do? I don't know, I've not really got any plans. Raz, what are you doing? I don't know. Just having brekkie, getting ready for a great day. No plans, really. Dan, what are you up to, mate? I'm just eating Sash Brown. I've got nothing else to do today, but... Should we just, should we just go to New York, then? Just to New York? Yeah. I mean, I've got two weeks off, so... Yeah, same, conveniently. I've also Wait, got... You've got two weeks off? I've got two weeks oh, off. Oh, I quit my job. You don't mention it, though. Okay, let's do that, then. All right. Team. Flight leaves in two hours. Razzy did a great job of uh, checking us all in and spelt Dan's name completely fucking wrong, which means now Dan's in a compromised position and we've got to go through checking again just to sort that out. How'd you feel, Dan? Well, I've only known him since 11. Is that alright? Is that looking good? <laughs> hey, pissy pants! So we're flying with Virgin this time, which is quite nice. We've never flown premium before. And the good thing about that is drinks are free all flight for eight hours. Third at Virgin Airlines, Virgin Atlantic, whatever we're flying on. She sorted me out because one of my best mates spelt my name wrong somehow. So she sorted me out with a nice little bit of free luggage. Can't go wrong. 45 quid dismissed. What a great experience that was, eh? That was nice. Quick to criticise. But you've also got to tell them when they're right. She's right. It's cause they saw Rob and they thought, oh, he's one of us, a virgin. Got searched, then they took all the stuff out of my bag because they knew it was a nice bag and they just wanted to scope it out and that, you know. We haven't been on a plane all year. It's criminal how long we've spent in this country because we've been making sure that we're saving up for a great trip. And the best thing about a trip like this is you get to hear the music again, right, Raz? Play the music.
you know we're very quick to criticize on this video but credit where it's due virgin absolutely wonderful experience free booze great staff nice play we're the type of guys who get delayed we're here early fly virgin it was economy as well no problem and danny got his bags on for free Please stand clear. The doors are closing. Right, we're headed to the hotel. $43 Uber to get there. Better than getting a bus and then a train and all that shit. The reveal. Oh. The decider of whether the next three nights in New York are going to be enjoyable for Matty Bridey or not. Boys, I'm going to be honest, this is nice. Right, this yeah. is perfect. Good work, Raz. Cheers. Let's go get some food. Where were we eating, boys? Last time when we came to America, we went to all different food places and it was sick. So we're gonna do that again and we're gonna start off with a place. What's it called, Raz? Shekers. Um, the fries are really good. I haven't tried the burger yet, yeah, the but from what I remember, it's very good. Is this it? Is this Times Square? Uh, this is mad. It does look very Times Square. Absolute madness around here. I reckon next year that's just gonna be all red and have a massive SWHBB going down the center of it. That would be good, wouldn't it? Now Levi's do a leopard print trucker jacket that I've been trying to get my hands on for a long time. Let's see if they've got it in this. This is probably their second most flagship shop in the world. Yeah, it's Ten past nine, and the shops are still open. Yeah, that's good. That's good, isn't it? That Levi's shop was sick, but they did not have what I wanted. So we'll keep looking for the leopard trucker. It's just weird, isn't it? It's really bad when you're this tired. <laughs> I'm really tired now. I can't do that. What? I can't stand on my hand for that long. Tiring, isn't it? It's tiring, but it's. It's a mad sight, absolute mad. You just can't take this shit in, man, like... You can't really convey this on, on video, but if you've been to Times Square and you've been in the night time and you've been when you're absolutely tired, it's insanity here. It's it's mad. It's like being surrounded by 100-foot TVs that keep changing brightness. It's, it, it's, it sounds awful, but it's quite good. In Times Square, on holiday, just chilling as we do, you know, we like to get about. And what would you know? Someone comes over and recognises us. How fucking nice is that? Lovely to see you. It's, I hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday. It was a pleasure taking that photo and it's, I hope we get to know each other in the future. Um, DM Rob. That is so sick. Like we are literally in the busiest, one of the busiest places in the world. Thousands of miles away from where we live. And someone knows who we are. Truly humbled as always. Why don't everyone know we are? Everyone subscribe. You gonna finish our drink today? I think we're gonna call it day. We're gonna go home and have some well-deserved sleep. It's been a day. Okay. Stop that right now. <laughs> Oh, power adapter like that. <laughs> yeah. Why not, mate? You're, you're going to set you're the place on fire. You only need one plug then. <laughs> That's you. Good night. Good night. Good night, podcast that. boy. Hopefully, we'll see you in the morning. No, that would be fine. Because we might burn down. Hello. How are you feeling? Feeling refreshed? Oh, I'm loving it. Ready to get your ass kicked at ping pong, mate? Oh, fuck off. Mate. Hey, I'll kick your ass at darts, I'll kick your ass at ping pong. Shut shit. I'll kick your ass at playing guitar or drums, mate. Oh. I'll do you. I'm better than you in every single way. Sit down, know your place. I think he's talking to you, Dan. <laughs> no, it's not about you. <laughs> Have you fucking heard him now? He's on some sleep. So what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm so soft, are you right? You got a shower? New York City! <laughs> <laughs> I always wear these Ray Bans and they've served me well. I've had them for a few years, but they're a little bit tired now. They're a little bit kind of janky and that. So we're going to say, put these. Got these nice new ones. Look at these. Oh, they're so stiff. Have a go on then. Oh, I've got my own pair, don't you worry? Oh, they are. They're nice, they're, aren't they? They are like box fresh stiff though. Oh, we back. Look, and what's that? The G15 tint popping out. If any of you get that reference then, comment below. It's a good one, that. Glasses, check. What's that? you got? Checked. Sames. Oh, you got, you're wearing the same Ray Bans? We're off to Subway. We're gonna try and find our way around New York. New York. Step one, let's find a latte. But let's have a latte somewhere yeah. nice. We're gonna go to Central Park. Uh, Raz, dip your card. Dip it, Raz. Dip your card. What happens next? Uh, dip it, Raz. Yeah. There's always one, isn't there? Who do you think's at fault there, the machine or Danny White? Well, sorry. I think it's a 50-50 split. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got my, I, I, I got I think... the card. Where are we at, boy? It's quite chilled out at the minute because it's like 8.30 a.m. Let's like get a coffee. It does smell a bit shit. It stinks of piss. That's massive. Like reverse shack. That's that is big. Yeah, small hands. 
So in this place called Pick a Bagel, where you just have a bagel, um, it's absolutely ram. But I really wanted to try something authentic New York. So let's see how this goes down. $12 for a bagel and a large coffee. Not too bad, I guess. I don't really know. Is that good? Raz, can you grab us some napkins? Get Raz to do your dirty work. Thanks, cuisine. I've never known someone be more unattractive while eating. I don't have to be attractive now, I'm wrong, fellas. What's your verdict on that? Four stars out of five. Really? This is lovely. That were good in there. I liked it. Got some bikes. There's one here. There's a few down there that them boys are going to go and get. Uh, Raz is just downloading the app and then we can head off on our journey. You alright, Raz? Yeah, chilling. Just got told to get off my phone by some guy running. That's nice. This is nice and relaxing now. It was a bit, it was a bit stressful wanting out in the city. Yeah. Now we're in Central Park. It's a bit more chill. I'm fucking loving it. I'm in my element here. What's your mum doing it? Oh, polos. What the live service remind you of? Polos. No, the um. Uh, what was it? Polos. No, the online games we used to play in school. Oh, that it's a baseball um, game. Polo. Polos. <laughs> I think he means polos. I think, polos. I think he's getting confused, bless him. America is great. I love the drinks that they have here. That's the one. Is it? Do you reckon? Yeah, that is the stuff that I lived on. Well, Raz, it's yes. a fine Saturday. <clears throat> it's a lovely Saturday. To be walking past, uh, you know, the most iconic city in the world, I would say. I wish the weather was a bit nicer. And so far, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie so far. I do prefer the West Coast. I don't know about you, Raz, but I know we've only been here a couple of days. See what the East has to offer. It's because the New York is all about like working hard, and you've got a bad work ethic. Work ethic. <laughs> it's that thing again where so... if you make a mistake, whatever point you're making is invalid. Anyway, you won't understand. Raz, it. my work ethic is great, mate. You have a day off. So hard to say that correctly. <laughs> you have a day off when you've got a little bit of a mm, little bit of sniffles. Oh, you had day off the other day. I did. I had one sick day, mate. And do you know what? That's one. In one year, yeah, not bad at all. Now you're having a sick day. And I, that's right, mate. Full circle. A cheers. What's Starbucks Reserve? I have no idea. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's like a fancy version of Starbucks. Rats to the right. You wanna go in? Let's go. Starbucks merch, man. So come to this big Starbucks to get some fancy cocktails. Have a look at these cocktails and let's guess who's got the least fancy one. Yours, Raz. Yours looks good. Yeah. Dan, yours looks quite nice. Comes with a cherry. Oh, righty, yours looks good. That's not as Instagrammable as I'd hoped. So we got to the Supreme Star after looking for ages. It's a big queue, like there always is. I'm gonna go and spend some money, right Raz? Definitely not. Thought you said you were gonna get some at this time? No. I'll, I'll buy something from somewhere else, it's just not Supreme. Are you scared? No, I just think it's shit. Do you? A lot of it is. Tell them. When we're in there, tell them. <coughs> See what's it? You tell them how much you love it. I'm sure they're black. Oh, cheers. I don't know how to speak to people in Supreme Shop. Ah, true. Hi, um, uh, can I get, didn't say, um, can I get, sorry we're out of stock mate. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, can I get that? Bye then. <laughs> All right. I'll re I'll requeue and buy something else. Very disappointed to be leaving Supreme New York empty handed. Mm. They just didn't have anything, no matter how much I want to convince myself that I wanted to buy something. Didn't even see the Red Sox. I'd have had them. They were nice. Having a quick piss. You alright, Riding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just having a quick piss in Starbucks, no, no big deal, you know. I'm here with Danny White. He's gonna have a look around, he's gonna tell us what he's feeling, what he ate, and hopefully he's gonna cop some stuff. Dan, what do you think of these ones here? I'm really, I'm really loving these. Uh, I think I'd like these in a size 8, and I'll take them on my feet already, thanks. They're a bit shit, don't they? I heard they're what nonces wear. The Halloween off white. <laughs> We've got the, S, the, the white SP dunk. Oh, they just came out, didn't they? So, so far, me and Raz bought notes, except coffees. Uh, Bridie and Dana copping some shit in Palace. So how the cool kids say, buying something. Yeah. Oh, here he is, the consumer. Thank you for your business, sir. Oh, you're most welcome. Can 
Right, we're at Chipotle. We've been here once before in London, but just hoping that it's a bit different in the States. Let's check this out. Oh, that Coke is banging. I love my Chipotle. And if they want to grow their brand in the UK, then we're the team to do it. Team TPD. He's doing this like three or four times now. We're going to get some beds and we're going to get a bit seshy and hopefully make some entertaining content for you. Instead of watching us, mm, this is this is Central Park. This is food. Mm. Please send me a quid. Thank you. For every quid you send, you're helping a man like me to just do things. Send me a quid. <laughs> 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 she does. Palace Air. Uh, Alice Maginan, <laughs> pay for my t-shirt. Just do things. Yeah, I'm gonna set you a challenge, guys. This t-shirt was $110. <laughs> and I want you guys to pay for it. Chop. Chop. Right, find me some booze. I already know what I'm getting. Oh, I'm gonna get a look. Two. Bag of cans for lads. Bag of, big bag of cans. Bridie's gonna get fucked up tonight and everyone's gonna be entertained. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, I'm just happy. Just content here. <laughs> it's so nice though, after walking around. Oh, oh have a look at this. <laughs> Is that Ariel? Oh my god, it's a little bit sexy because it chems. Oh, look at that cleavage. Oh, hard. Oh. I'm so hard, I feel myself drinking, boy. Watch me drink. Look at me drink this drink. Where am I fucking drinking? Danny had opened his drink, the pussy. Oh, oh he didn't have a bottle that. opener either. I'm not alone with that motherfucker. Oh, straight out window. Prison cells, we need to work out. You're working out with Big Bride. Oh my god. Little white boy filming up there gonna get his ass pounded tonight. Ah! I think that's me he's all about there. Right, we're off to go and play ping pong. And I'm gonna show this big boy who the champion is, boy. Oh, what you me, doing? What you doing, boy? Giving you a beer. Feeding the fucking paw. Because oh. I ain't got a job on them paw. Sponsor me, Quetchu. <laughs> You haven't heard that in a few weeks. Right, let's go. So as you know, we're all uh, keen sportsmen here at the TPD TV. So what we're gonna do is we're all gonna try and sling both balls in these baskets at once until we get it. All right, slow start. Razzy, you're up, boy. I got, I got one. All right, let's go. I got both out. He's done it as well. What did he just did it. What did you say? Congrats. Sorry, I didn't quite hear you. What, what did you say? Alright, are you using grip side or? <laughs> well, that's Rob Im immediately <laughs> lost. Just what I wanted, it's a miss. Right, we've had the most enjoyable round of sports that I've had for years. Well, and now we're gonna me. smash these bad boys. Forum, there's this guy, and he does the best cry ever. Check it out. I still love you. <laughs> Isn't that just the best cry ever? <laughs> Well, let's go up. You all right? Come on, it's quiet. Please. Come on, Razz, man. Razz, somebody go, please. Razz, do you need a hand? Today, Junior? Good news, we're staying, as you know, we're staying in, where are we staying? Queens. And last night, someone um, some fully grown adult went up to a six year old and slammed the skull straight into the ground for no reason unprovoked. Don't that's, forget, the someone got shot. that's the behaviour in Queens. Oh, yeah, also, yeah, someone got murdered last night and, and I heard a gunshot it. as well. Yeah, and there's a rap festival on today with Fat Joe, Fetty Why Wap, and Wu Tang Clan on. So I it's probably a good idea you. to be vlogging in the streets, rough as this, with an iPhone 10s Max 256 gig. Like we want to get a bit more drunk because we're not quite pissed yet. And uh, in New York, it's illegal to drink on the streets unless they're in a brown bag. So what we're doing is we're getting four Smirnoff ices from this gaff and you can literally get a brown bag with your drink just for the intention of drinking it on the streets. So let's do that. Right, you got the brown bags. Oh, we in Straight away, at my PD. <laughs> oh my God, fucking hell, get it in the bag quick, mate. Get it in the bag quick. 
behind us, you can just see up there in the top right, they're selling like hand sanitizers and Tide Pods just on the street at like 10 p.m. Standard New York vibe and that. We're almost at the club slash bar. Let's check it out, Raz. Yep. So this first bar has $20 minimum spend on card, which means we have to get 10 beers, which is, I don't know if that's good or bad. My, my mate Joe said that there's lots of exclusive Pokemon in America to catch, and I said I'd try and catch some for him. So in the really unlikely event that you watch this, Joe, here's the proof that I am trying. That's a centret, mate. We have them back home. You're shit at this. <laughs> Welcome to New York, everybody. The fucking wealth capital of the world. Check this shit out. In this bar, there's two bars. One of them's fucking rancid. And we're just watching every single person go in there and discover the horrible sight that is... It's really funny. <laughs> that is the place with the worst toilet I've ever seen. I've never ever seen a toilet that bad. Oh, what's up? I'm fucked in New York. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're in a different bar now. Look at this place. The toilet looks nicer. Just have a look at the big hall. Right, we're in a pizzeria and we're gonna have a nice pizza. We're all gonna have a New York pizza for the first time. Including Dan. You ready, Dan? I'm ready. Dan. I also decided to go vegan quite a while ago. It's big, big. Decided to go vegan a while ago. Here's a clip of Danny earlier eating a sausage and yeah. bacon, buddy. What? What? I <laughs> vegan. <laughs> What's your thoughts, bro? Very nice, very so. Good, isn't it? <laughs> I said easy coming, I've set the fuckers off. Margarita? Yeah, Margarita. Margarita for Matthew Briley. There you go, Matthew. Welcome to New York, baby. You all good? I'm good. Ryan, do you want a refill? I'll go back. We've had some New York pizza, mate. Ready to go or what? Not yet. The roof of my mouth is so fucking bad. Oh my. Dan, have you had fun? He's fucking so long. What are you doing? I'm holding a fucking stein glass so you and ginger bollocks over here can piss in it and then we've got a little bit of piss left here it's going straight on this guy's bike oh i really didn't mean that i'm sorry man you got piss on your shoe <laughs> I don't want to come back so early, man. Raz is going to get the drinks in and we're going to go hoop, to feel like shoot some hoops, man. Go. Can we grab one, please? Let it be known that these two are bailers. Because they bail them and shooting the hoops. Which means if you don't go shoot the hoops, you don't have your drinks. Well, I've got one drink. Razzy, that's mine. <laughs> you know the score. If you don't shoot, you Right, good night, everyone. Bye bye. I'm a boy. Good morning, everyone. Oh, that was fun. As soon as it and touches your lips, my out. knuckles will be straight on your chin, mate. Hey, homie, show me your girl. Hey, come and have a look at my girl. This is where Big Shaq sleeps. Up here, I got my girl. What the fuck? Where's my girl? Who's shit ass brother and daughter is this? Where's my girl? Oh, 
Oh my days. This was nice. I can't even tell where I am because like the mirrors are throwing me off. I would go with the I know, green. but I just wanted to because it's a really nice yellow. Thing. Oh, that is a nice case. Long time coming, mate. Welcome to the wireless music revolution. They are beastly. They are sick. Looking fresh, boy. Factory fresh. Calling MJ Brighty Big Man Muscles back big old belly up front. Mobile. Nope, it's calling it. Show us own muscles, boy. Show us a gun show. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Here we are in Brooklyn. Uh, I don't really know much about Brooklyn. Razi, you excited? Um, Get to go in a Supreme store with no cue. No, I like that bat. That's, that's good. This is a beautiful piece of British manufacturing, originally made for the British military. And it's the Kent. Oh, hard to open. That is really nice and well presented and the logo's scratching off already. Oh, it is, isn't it? Lovely. Supreme in Brooklyn was a really nice store, really good service, friendly security, let us in with drinks. I bought a t-shirt and that, so I've accomplished my mission. What now? That's nice. This is New York. This is, this is the nice New York. What's the plan? Uh, so we needed a piss, so we bought a drink. And then, and then so we're gonna cycle over to Brooklyn Bridge and go into New York that way. It's gonna be really, really nice. Pockets Oh I'd like it if Chucky was here, he'd be he'd be enjoying it. Yeah, we love you Chuck. That was good, that. That was good fun. Brady, spin That's round good. for us. Let's have a look at the 1.75 Coca-Cola bottles return, baby. Oh, it's starting to appear there a little bit. So we're stood here in a familiar place, if you like YouTube. Have a gander at this. Remember the camera, the GoPro, bolted onto that, yeah? Yeah. And there's still the white one hanging out of that window that he did. That was his, I reckon. What do you think? Yeah. We're gonna go look at Statue of Liberty, or as Bridey calls it, Eiffel Tower Empire State. Oh, that was you. Girl with torch. Yeah, Girl, well, with, Girl torch. with torch. Taxi! I'll we'll show you our caricatures in depth when uh, when we get back to the hotel. So we're in a shop called Zoomies, which is a skate shop in America. And I've finally found a hoodie that I've been looking to buy in England for about two years. And I'm really excited and I've bought it. Good news, Robin, this store, not only have you got the hoodie, but I've got some jeans for you as well, look. Rude. Just your size. We're in Empire State Building. We're gonna go up to the top. We're gonna have a strawberry daiquiri and we're gonna just oh, gonna feel like just, just have a nice time, that's all we're doing. How are you feeling, Dan? You don't like heights, so... Um, I don't mind them as long as I can't fall out. Like, if I can't, if, if, I, if there's nothing stopping me from Have you ever listened to Eric Clapton? Yeah, whatever you're saying, I don't know what that reference is. Look at One World Trade over there. Oh my days. That's tall. <laughs> we're high up. That's a view everyone should see once in their life, if you're fortunate enough. Hello. <laughs> Let's see if this has got the leopard jacket. They didn't have it. So we're gonna go get some food. We're gonna go to Smash Burger, which is extra nice, if I remember correctly. New York's the best machine in the world, apart from Napoleon's casino at just extracting the funds from your account real quick. Nothing bullying needs money. 
Very nice. I had the, I kept the guac on mine, unlike you. And it really added to it. It was really good. Right, so every time we're getting on the tube, we stand in one spot and we see if the doors open at our spot. And if it does, then we win, bitch. Razzie's won twice in one day. I'm starting to think that Razzie is a cheater. Razzie put us on the wrong train. Brady, what, what's made you choose this spot? I've been early, mate. I've gone for this one here. Boom. How Just come? Any, the any... wear and tear on this part here is more than there, so I'm thinking boom. This okay, mate. Well, good luck. Ryan. Yeah. Two times winner so far. How come you've picked this spot here? Um, because earlier. I noticed that the train stopped like right in front of one of these pillars. Oh, yeah. And I distinctly remember thinking, like, why would it stop there? That's really annoying. Don't do that on the tube. But here it obviously does, so I'm gonna go with here. You're gonna stay there, okay mate. Yeah, Good luck. Go. Dan, yeah. what's made you choose this spot here for the hotel do train door opening? So okay, there's two <laughs> reasons. Number one, this sign here is uh, you're looking at the sign train arrives, get straight on. Mm -hmm. uh, number two is the stairs. You come down the stairs, turn right, and you just go straight to your train. The doors will come here because it's the quickest and most efficient way. It's New York, baby. Rob, tell me why you've chosen this spot. So basically, it's a meter away from Dan. Fair. And I'm just gonna try my luck. No tactic, mate, I go in blind. And we have two winners! Two winners! Rob's on run carriage. We booked um, earlier to go up to the top at Rockefeller, which is apparently like the coolest building in New York. Um, the issue is, we're a bit bored of going up buildings now. So we're gonna go in this gaff, we're gonna get some beers, and we're gonna get a little bit lit before we go up, so we can maybe make it a bit more fun. This way, guys. And tonight, Matthew, I'm gonna be... <laughs> does it look like me? <laughs> yeah, it does, it's got your nose. Well, Rob, let's have a look at yours now. <laughs> that looks not like you. <laughs> that little looks fuck all like you. Next up, we have the wonderful Ryan Eaglin. He's a top lad. Make sure you tell him if you see him. Raz, come on down. Contestant number three. <laughs> <laughs> They've done a really good job of capturing your masculinity. It's not, even, also, it's not even fucking finished on this you side. You really see the shimmer of the grease coming off the face that they captured. Look at his face. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> he hasn't even given me the full go see. He's just giving me a fucking <laughs> It looks fuck all like you. Danny White. Danny, would you like it? Oh, let me do it again. <laughs> no, that's staying in. Danny, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Jay Valley was coming with us. <laughs> They've done a really good job at capturing what I look like underneath my clothes. <laughs> that uh, one's probably at best, but it's still really fucking incorrect. I think Briard is his I best, I mean, they've got, the, they've got the, <coughs> the head size right. Now we're off to the Rockefeller, which is touted as the best view in New York. Aside from this view that you boys and girls have got right now, baby. Why, right, is it a view of me? There we go, that's a good view. <coughs> Speaking of a good view, why not share this video with your friends? It's nine fucking nights, Robert. Yeah. Fuck easy, Jet. So if you are coming to New York, do go to the top of the Empire State Building just for the clout points so you can say it every time you watch a film with the Empire State Building in. But if you just want to have a look at the best view, you want to come to the top of the rock because it's lovely. Look at that. Just a big building there. I don't even know which one it is. It's probably important. Probably worth literally billions of dollars. Don't matter. Oh, what's that? Some more. Oh, what's that? Empire State. Just chilling, you know. It's all good. Up the boy up, man. Brady's been caught. Brady's picking up a mixed sip. What happened then? I don't know what this guy's on about, but. Danny's getting caught in the background picking up a mixed tip. If you look in the background, you can see Danny getting. 
Did you Did you not buy one? No, he was like, oh, it's free, it's free, it's free. We just asked for a donation. I was like, well, listen, man, I don't want to pay. And he's like, all right, then give it back. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I am so fucking tired after spending today in New York being a tourist. Okay. It feels like a week ago that we were on bike going over Brooklyn Bridge. That was today. Like a really shit rave this. Good morning. How you doing, Bridie? Got a cold. Thanks to you. Thanks to me. Today we're gonna have a bit of a sombre morning. Uh, we're gonna go to the 9-11 memorial. It's gonna be high opening. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Really? Shit. Your dad's dead. <laughs> I imagine that when we're in here you probably can't film or it's probably not appropriate to film. But we will give you our thoughts when we leave. But for now. Let's go and look at the recap. Maybe the biggest event in human history? No, I mean, Do you think? Biggest event in human history? Yeah, I mean, it's a big old event, isn't it? After TPD, just it's the it. biggest certain <laughs> type of event in human history. You know what I mean, though? It's pretty, pretty mad. Let's go in and not enjoy it. I don't know how to really say it. You can tell it's a bit awkward. <laughs> There's Bridie, crazy Bridie. I'll not say it without offending people. Very, very good. The best I've been to. Truly uh, eye-opening and quite sad. And not really, don't really know how to react, but it's definitely worth going to. The scariest thing about 9-11 is on that day, the plane obviously smashed into the building and everyone would have been really worried. But only when that second plane hit is when the true white hot terror must have just gone through people because that's when you know it wasn't an accident. <sighs> right, here we are on the boat. Just like the... Please keep moving inside away from the front doors, folks. We're going right out. First stop, Liberty Island. Second stop, Ellis Island. Um, we've seen Statue of Liberty from the boat. It looks nice. We can't be bothered getting off, getting back on. So we're just going to stay on boat and just enjoy from a nice vantage point. <laughs> Hiya, 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 hiya. Friday has Rob's cold and he's also really fat, so his snoring's getting much worse. Have a listen. <laughs> so what we've gone and done is we've come to this shop. It's a pharmacy, we've gotten to your nose strips to open up that big old snout of it so it can breathe properly and I can finally get some sleep because I didn't get to sleep until three in the morning. I've got these strips. Oh, damn. <laughs> which I'm not gonna wear. It's been another crazily busy day. We're all absolutely shattered. We're off to a gig tonight. Now, you know we like to go to gigs whenever we go to places. This is a gig at a nice venue called Madison Square Garden. But we haven't got any tickets yet, so we need to sell that first. And I think it's gonna be difficult. But most importantly, who's gonna win this round of opening the doors? Such a long time. I sure hope it does. Pedo! Oh. Uh, those rock stars, we're all uh, a bit tired, so we're, uh, everyone gonna have a nap. I'm gonna sit in chow for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna head off to this gig and we're gonna drink. And we're gonna get crazy, because we've got these bad boys. Follow the call, baby! It turns out that we need to be at the airport for 8 a.m. tomorrow, right? Yeah. For our flight back to England. Get, get, like the gig will get us excited, we'll be jumping, we'll be bouncing, we'll be rocking those little cocks off and it'll just wear off and we'll be fine by the time we come out. I'm cracking it up. Crack it boy. Crack it MB. <laughs> so before we head out to MSG on our last night in New York, we're going to play some b-ball, shoot some hoops. Maybe they're looking at the king of the ball. That's right, and Maddie's right behind me, boy. We're each gonna take one last shot before we head out to the gig. And the accuracy of our shot predicts that 
likelihood that we're gonna get good tickets from a tout tonight. If we get nowhere near these baskets, we're gonna not get tickets. Unfortunately, Raz is up first. Raz, get behind the line. Best b-ball player in town, bitch. Hey, homie. Oh, weak. Almost got got by the scammers. Happy. Almost got got by the scammers. You're up. Go. There's a scammer! <laughs> oh, you missed. I think that determines we've got a 50-50 chance. 50-50 chance of this. Right, let's go. See you, George. you been good. We're coming back tonight, Raz. Coming back, Raz. You... Uh, we're up top at Rock, having a, a beautiful view out. Um, I saw the Pepsi Cola sign, thought Rob was at the side of me. It turns out, little old woman. And I said, Oh, Pepsi Cola, baby! She just ignored me completely and walked away very quickly. Pepsi Bye. Cola, baby! It's warming. It is really warm, isn't it? Okay, I'll pass the message on. Your dad's dead! Okay, I'll tell him. Josh just got a pole with a magnet on him. And he can just get in straight out and drain it. <laughs> the story is, Bridie dropped his car keys down a fucking drain and he spent 600 quid having his dashboard dismantled so some random guy in Kent could come out on a Sunday and fix it. And then his brother rocks up with a magnet on a stick and gets keys out of that fucking drain. Sometimes you just take the L's, the lessons. You're not wrong with learning lessons, boys, in New York City, homie. Right, how much are you withdrawing for the towel? 130. Is that your max? That's my max. Okay, so we'll all go 130. Right. Happy with that? That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mecca. Uh, we saw the first ever tout. We immediately went up to him, hundred dollars, and we got some standing tickets. I presume. Four tickets, homie. Four, four tickets. Standing for 400 tickets. Four hundred beans. To the this boys guy. Going to see Push. We're seeing the Malone. It's Madison Square Garden. Fuck you, cunts. What's I'm my saying? I wanted to be sitting. I think I'm gonna bounce, to be honest. Nah. Sell that, I'm bouncing. Sell that. You could sell Get a couple that. more drinks in you, mate. You'll Get my fine. 100 back, I'm off. I'll walk round, I'll meet you back. That's the... really good news, that, innit? Yeah. What if Please don't. Please don't be fair. Then we'll, what? Then what we'll just fake? go knock Then we go back out. to him and knock 10 bells of shit out of him because we're definitely yeah. harder than him. What if these are fake? Addison Square fucking garden. You excited, Dan? Mate, it's a fucking dream, this is. Good, isn't it? That was so easy with the towels. I, I hope these are genuine. Of course they are, man. Tau Sunflower. It's in the tau's best interest to not fuck you over. Sunflower. Swirly. Easy here. He's gonna perform with Corsi. I'm gonna come in my pants. This is so sick. You know how much I love going to gigs, and we are in a real world famous venue right now. Hollywood Bowl last year. Madison Square Gardens, Raz. Really this is gonna be a good show. All no good, okay? They're all no good. Fantastic, we only paid $100 for it. Is there any left? Is there any Check the boxes. Check the boxes. Nice. Oh, fuck this shit. That's my budget gone. So apparently we've bought some dud tickets. Let's let's see what the box office say. What are we gonna do? Man, I, I don't I, I don't have the money for another fucking Is it? hundred beans. I don't even have the money and I can't even pay it back. Honestly, like, is it worth just accepting, taking the L? What's better, paying 200 for a good gig or paying 100 for no? I, I'd say 200 for a good gig. Do you want me to, shall we, we go outside and speak to these guys, me and, and me? Let's, let's get these we can first. at least speak to them. We can yeah. at least get these first and then be like, yo, okay, this cool. is bullshit. As if we got fucked like that. I have it's never it. ever been screwed by a tout, never. So we're gonna go and try and find them. Which is going to be difficult because they look rock solid. I'm trying to see the guys we bought it off of. Out in the streets of New York, looking for these guys that just scammed us for a hundred dollars each. And what we've realised is that they've probably just bounced. They've took our four hundred dollars of hard-earned cash and just bounced straight away. Snatched the fucking hundred dollars out of my hand. There's someone was like, we jumped in too quick, man. We took an L. I um, I use towels a lot in England. As you know, I go to a lot of gigs, and if you see my Twitter, you know I never buy the tickets when they're released. And I've never been scammed. Never. But tonight, 
I got scammed, which means don't trust New York. I've got great news. Why is it? You've each got a hundred dollar piece of paper to put on your walls at home, boys. Because we're keeping our tickets. Them, them man's bounce so fucking quick. What a set of... So I ran up on him and went bang! And he please said, be no, in. please be calm down. Sorry. Right, we're back on track with an authentic ticket. At least it's a hundred dollar story worth telling. Ooh. Hey! We should have known they were fake by the fact that this is standing as in the pit and then they've got a run. Boy, don't worry, man. When he ran off to get the others, he probably went straight to Can and Pixma and printed them out. My boy MB, he got us a beer. He got himself a beer. He got me another beer. He got him another beer. We got four beers. How much is that round? 60, 56 dollars. Are we off to, are we off to uh, Light Place? You know what I mean. <laughs> light Place? Are you oh, Times oh, Square? Be, be oh, Times time Square again. What the? I've seen the arches. Right, I don't want any pickle. I don't want any cheese. This is why I said let me get on my own. Such a long time. I've been waiting for a long time. We've got the double cheeseburger. Gonna split that all up and like Raz's mum's legs. Then what we got? We got the mayo chicken. We're gonna smack. Bring it down here, Raz. And my boy's the man. Hey, your boy. Cheers, brother. Thank you. I've been waiting for a long time. New York, bitch. This is a real puzzle. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> Man! You've left your filler cap open. Oh, it's the police, homie. <laughs> That's a police car, you dickhead. It don't matter. <laughs> There's a fucking New York Police Department. Because I'm a good lad and I snored a lot last night, I bought these. The Ravan Snore Therapy Strips. That's not where they go. Kellers, 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 Kellers. Stop, 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 stop. Get that clear mesh bit goes where my nostrils Yeah, are. have a look at the have a look at the pictures and the Show instructions. Me, Genuinely right. Stop, stop. <laughs> Gummy bear? <laughs> skittle, sour skittle. Alright, yeah, go on. <laughs> 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 oh, that hurts so fucking much, mate. And you can't do much about that once it's happened. All good things must come to an end. Hotel, we're good, right? Yeah. yeah. Good shower as well. You can tell how good a hotel is by how good the shower is. And that was a good one. Lift is good, isn't it? It's like, I like Lyft. It's like Uber, but I'd say it's better. Slight bit cheaper. Look, he's only there as well. Cheeky bastard. Oh, he's disappeared. The service from Delta Airlines was class, wasn't it? It was really nice. Yeah, it was nice. John. Was that his name? Shout out, John. John, if you ever watch this. So we got the new Ray-Bans that you saw me crack open the other day, but the old ones are looking a bit grim. And I'm, I'm going to keep these, obviously. And there's this thing, this car wash for glasses. So 
I'm gonna slide my card in and we're gonna see how this works. You're gonna do yours, Ross? Yeah, Oh, that is sick. Carbon fiber as well. They look fresh. They needed that one. What was your favourite part of New York before we head home? Um, cycling over the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. Bridie, what was your favourite part of New York? Um, Post Malone. Last night. I know Dan will say that, but they were really good. Night. Mine was the 9 11 Museum. I thought that I thought that was incredible and definitely worth going to for however much it was, $18 or something. Do you want to see some planetary weights? Yeah. So you've got your bag. Inside your bag, you've got a box. And inside that box, I've got another box. It's mad, isn't it? It's fucking ridiculous. Everything no. in America is like that. It's so shit. America, recycle more and stop using as many. What was your favourite part of New York City? I just said the bike ride. Which one? We went like all the way down the river and we uh, saw the top jet. That was good. That was a really good ride. That, I enjoyed that. So we've all got different favourite bits. What we got? 9 11. The museum. Well, New York, thanks so much for having us. It has been an absolutely wonderful trip. Um, a lot of walking around, a lot of queuing, but as we were saying, you don't really remember that, do you? you think, think about the good times only. Um, really, really nice city. Definitely can recommend coming. Sad to go home, but hey ho. Nice. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a fantastic city. Let's fly back. What, what was your least favourite? Mm. Um, weird. Um, I guess it's t it's a double hitter. It is all the people and the queuing. Like it's just so full on. There's just so many people, which means you can't walk anywhere fast. And that means the queues are big for everything. Annoying. I, I agree. That's also my least favourite. You know, you're never gonna guess what Mike's having to do now. What's up? He's gonna ask for an extended seatbelt. No. Is he fat belly? What about are, are your muscles? What about his muscles? No, they're back up. Is it about the muscles or the belly? The That was a nice flight back in Manchester now. That was a great trip, Raz. We're not in Manchester yet. What do you mean, Raz? Some bad news for you. What do you mean? We've got the wrong flight. Oh, no. Where are we? Shooting next time to find out. <laughs> Come,